Okay, so this video about my cool video game idea was supposed to be finished, I mean started like two and a half hours ago, but I spent a disproportionately long amount of time trying to make a proportionately cool background because I have severe ADHD. Um, that's just funny in and of itself. It was supposed to be a quick note to self, so I didn't forget my idea, but then I spent several hours trying to make this background here. So, um, yeah. Um, that sucks, but the idea is cool, so now I'm going to start telling you about that. Um, I think it's finally possible to, um, use a local LLM to, uh, how do I, let me restart. Um, I'm going to be creating an open source game project. Um, and part of the reason it has to be open source is because I'm going to use generative elements, which are technically public domain, according to Congress sometimes, maybe. Uh, copyright's confusing when it comes to AI-generated content, but, like, I'm only one person, so I'm gonna have to rely on it. Um, but, um, uh, I want to create a game that's kind of like Rogue and Animal Crossing fused together, where, um using an LLM like MemGPT, every uh, character that you can interact with is like a villager in Animal Crossing, and they have um, personalities stored as like separate MemGPT instances, but using only one LLM model between instances, since you're only going to talk to them one at a time. And I want it to be sort of like a, a graphic novel for the... Um, visual interface, I want the uh, characters to be able to express emotion and stuff, because I, uh, I used to, it used to be my dream to make video games when I was little, but now I don't think they're immersive enough. I don't want to play games or read stories. I want to visit other worlds, like isekai bullshit. Um, Obviously, I can't physically pull a Rick Sanchez and just, like, and step through a portal. But um, what I can do is simulate another world and then get my mouse out and uh, interact with it the same way that I'm interacting with you via information telegraphing. So um, that's the basic idea. Here's some of the nuance, though, and, like, feel free to hit me up in the DMs if you can think you can help me with this. Uh, let me just start. So, um, I want to use, like, 2D paper doll modeling, but I think I'm gonna have to code my own because I also want to use 2D cloth simulations, and I want them to have, uh, 2D textures, like in Animal Crossing, but, like, flat. And I saw a video about using, like, 2D texture, like, you can get mud on the texture, and then it, like, warps, and it follows the animation flow. Um, that would be really cool. And because it's 2D, it would be a lot simpler than, um, than having to do all that in 3D, because cloth simulation in 3D is a nightmare, but cloth simulation in 2D sounds like, uh just simulating a train a chain like a bunch of points that are chained together and then you drop them and they all kind of like fall like a curtain so it seems a lot simpler um and so that's that but the cool part i mean cooler more complicated part is forgotten it'll come back to me though um basically i wanted to oh now i remember um, so, using XML, because we're talking about LLM models here, um, I was going to create a roguelike tile map, but then also include, like, additional, like, details as metadata tags, um, limiting the context length to, like, the size of, like, a, uh, chessboard, or maybe smaller. Um, and then, uh, the game would be text-based, no, no, text-based technically, but the text would be replaced with, um, pixel art, um, so, like, you would have, like, a, so, 
and I wanted to make it as simple as possible, so, um, there's, uh, gonna be very few tiles, like, there's gonna be a wall tile, uh, entity tile, I mean, a wall tile, an animate tile, a shit tile, and a, um, floor tile, and a pro tag tile, um, a shit tile is basically, um, anything, like a, uh, a pile of undone laundry, or bushes, or literal dinosaur shit, like, anything that you can, like, dig through is a shit pile. A wall is self-explanatory, a floor is self-explanatory, an entity is anything that you can, um, interact with. So, a pumpkin, a person, sword whatever that's an entity and then a pro tag is you so pro tag shit wall floor entity um and then they'd have like metadata so if you were to literally play it as a roguelike there would be a lot of recursive data and you wouldn't be able to tell what you're looking at without like interacting with it so it would be like really uncomfortable to play, but that's okay because each entity has metadata so that we can add different types of entities and different types of shit piles and stuff like that. Different types of walls, different types of floor. Like, yeah, that's the cool part. And then, and then I want to use another, a, I want to use a local, um, pre-trained, uh, generative pixel art, uh, AI model to speed up development for entities and all the assets that aren't, uh, characters, essentially, um, because for characters I'm going to do paper dolls and I'm also going to use generative assets and also my own limited artistic ability to, um, create the different, like, walk cycles and emotional expressions and uh, character customization options and stuff like that but um for like the wigs and the eyes and the mouth and the noses and like all of that like uh we sports me uh xbox avatar bullshit um just like spit it out in bulk um because the idea here is kind of like uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. You know how that uh, the game pretends to be self-aware as you progress through the story, and your jealous lover, Monica, like, deletes the other girls that you can flirt with till she's the only one left, and then, and then she's all glitchy and evil, and uh, also absolutely starstruck with you. That's the idea. I want, except not creepy. Like, I want you to be able to have genuine, like, text message and gameplay relationships with an LLM character. I want you to go to your computer and log into your game and have a bunch of non-player characters that feel like family and friends. And someday, you and your friends' towns can be linked up on, like, a separate server so that your, um, friends, your, your simulated friends can interact with each other. And, like, because they're computer programs, they never die. So, like, let's say you have a friend named Jake and he loves this game and then he dies, but all of his friends are there, and you can talk to the virtual people about your buddy Jake, and keep his town forever evolving like a living person. So, anyways, uh, if you're a talented programmer, hit me up in the DMs, because I'm gonna need, well, nothing. I think I can do this myself if I put enough elbow grease into it, but I am a horrible programmer, and I want this to be open source, so please help me if you think you can, because calling me a coder is an insult to coders. I am, like, a new kind of horrible. I am, like, a child scribbling pictures equivalent of computer code. So, yes.
Bye.